Happy Wellness Wednesday. It's such an honor to be here today. My name is Robin Lee. I'm a medical intuitive based in California, and I've been in practice for over 30 years. I show up here on YouTube the first and third Wednesdays of the month, sharing a bit about how healing works and how simple habits we can incorporate in our day-to-day -day experience can really allow transformation of our overall health and well-being. There's a question I've been asked quite a bit recently in my practice around peace of mind and peace of heart. The question is very similar from person to person when this does come up. And the question is, with all the chaos in the world, how is it that one can find peace of mind and peace of heart? Such a good question. The biggest piece is making sure that when we're paying attention to things that are going on in the world around us, in our communities, with our friends, even with ourselves, that we honor how we organically feel. We never want to use any skill set to override how we feel. I see this a lot in my practice. I see people that know the skills to work with to enhance their process. But sometimes we override organically giving ourselves permission to truly feel what it is that we're going through or experiencing in our lives. This is one of the most important things I could possibly share with you today. Make sure that you give yourself permission to honor if something makes you scared or afraid or overwhelmed or worried or angry or insecure, whatever the feelings may be, give yourself permission to really organically honor how they make you feel. Sometimes those feelings can be so uncomfortable and the tendency is to just shove them down. We don't want to shove those emotions down. We don't want to use skill sets to override the emotions that we feel either. It's really important that we give ourselves permission to create space, to really just feel how we feel about what we see on the TV, what we hear in the newspaper, what we watch on social media, what we hear our friends talking or sharing about. It's critical that we honor how we actually feel. So often we stay focused on the things that we're afraid of or the things that we don't feel are fair or the things that we feel are unjust. That's okay for a period of time, but if the goal is to cultivate peace of mind, honor how we feel, honoring how we feel is critical. And then from that place, asking ourselves if there's anything productive that we can do to help support the situation at hand. It's very important. I think most people don't ask themselves this question and by not asking themselves this question, we can create so much more worry and concern. It's almost like we get used to the feeling of worry or concern and we kind of point the finger of what's going on over there and we need to make sure we're paying attention to how that's what's going on there, how it's affecting us inside, and then asking if there's anything we can actually do to make a difference. Whether we ask our friend, whether we ask a community, whether we create a post of where can I help in a situation, I'm feeling powerless. It's a very, very important piece of the puzzle in my humble opinion. The other piece I would say, which is probably the most important piece here, is focusing on gratitude for what we have in our day-to-day -day life. We hear about gratitude a lot, and a lot of times I don't know if we really understand the power of gratitude. Gratitude anchors us into the moment that we're sitting in right now. No matter how bad the situation is that we might be going through right now, or our friend might be going through, or our community might be going through, or maybe some other place in the world is going through, we always honor how we feel we always ask ourselves and ask aloud, is there anything that we can do to make a difference? And then after that, it's how do we allow ourselves to reclaim the moment in front of us? For me right now, I'm sitting in Southern California. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. I actually just got a glimpse of my tortoise from the corner of my eye. I've had a very busy work day. Oh, my home is very quiet today. I take a big deep breath. I can smell the candle that's burning in the room next to me. Beautiful, beautiful scent of sandalwood. I allow myself to connect to the moment. 
There are so many beautiful things in the moment in front of us. There really are. And one might say, well, that's not true for this situation and that's not true for that situation. But this is the thing, it's true right now for me. And in this moment, I must reclaim what's here for me in this moment. I can still honor how I feel. I can still be engaged. I can still ask if there's anything I can do to be supportive to a situation, how I can serve that situation. And then at some point, I need to come back to me. Because in this moment, there's so much insight. And in this moment, just like every moment, they pass by very quickly. And in this moment, there are so many beautiful things in front of me. I can see with my eyes 10 things that I could share with you right now. I am able to hear my voice talk to you. I'm able to see myself in the screen. I'm able to see for the corner of my eye what's going on in the yard outside. I can see the light to the left of me. There's so many different things in the given moment that I can connect to and I'm so grateful for these things. When I focus on gratitude, that anchors me into my heart. I don't know if you know this, you cannot be anchored in your heart and worry at the same time. Worry is betting on what you don't want to have happen, happen. So for me, when I anchor into gratitude in the moment, after I've honored how I truly feel, ask if there's anything that I can do to support the situation, and then give myself permission to really feel, I allow myself to come back to the moment with gratitude, coming back to the moment with gratitude, filling my heart with gratitude is such a powerful experience. When I allow myself to do this, I feel peace inside of my heart. I feel my mind calm down. When I'm worrying and focusing on things that I don't have control over, or there's nothing that I feel like I can do to make a difference, my mind starts to race, my heart starts to race, I start to feel pressure inside. There's a connection to what we're focusing on and how we physically feel. So as I allow to use gratitude, it's not spiritually bypassing, it's a way of saying in this moment, in my moment, for me inside right now, these are the things right now in this moment I am grateful for. Sometimes I pick up to 10 things in the moment to focus on that I am grateful for. And I take a big deep breath after each one. So I am grateful that I can see the yard outside. I am so blessed indeed. I allow myself to take a big deep breath. I can smell the sandalwood scent in the room next to me. I am so blessed indeed. I can hear the sound of the freeway or traffic. I am so blessed indeed. I can hear the sound of crows in the backyard. I am so blessed indeed. And I notice that every time I breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth in this fashion, my heart starts to relax. My mind starts to calm down. I am able to be in the present moment of my particular situation right now. There are always things going on in the world. Some people would hear this and say, oh, you know, she needs to work on compassion. I'm actually a pretty compassionate person, incredibly empathetic person. For me to be able to honor how I feel, to help where I can, and if I don't know and I feel powerless to ask where I can help, and then to give myself permission to come back into the moment in front of me that I'm living in, it's such a powerful process of reclaiming my peace of mind. It does no good for those situations that are outside of myself to project out worry, to project out concern, to project out constant overwhelm. All that does is add fuel to that fire. Once I create peace of heart and peace of mind, I'm helping that situation. I'm showing up in a more present way and I'm allowing myself to create space and room for a positive impact if there's a place for me to allow myself to have a positive impact. Gratitude is one of my very favorite healing tools for so many different reasons. 
But when it comes to creating peace of heart in moments, this is exactly the step process that I personally go through to allow myself to honor what's in front of me and around me in the world that I'm living in. Asking where I can be supportive and helpful, then allowing myself to collect myself and allowing myself to really feel back into this moment in front of me. When things are scary and worrisome all around, sometimes it's a challenge to choose to be in the present moment in front of me. It's sometimes it's a very hard thing to choose peace of heart and peace of mind because it's honestly hard to do that when we're used to anchoring into worry and being afraid of being out of control. But as we honor how we organically feel and we give ourselves the space to settle into a place of gratitude, that's where a lot of our personal healing begins. What I feel, I get an opportunity to heal. So if I'm feeling worried, and then of course I'm not ignoring the situation, I'm asking of what I can do to support the situation, then I allow myself to come back to myself. I'm now healing that worry and space in my heart that feels afraid, that feels concerned, that feels these things. Gratitude in the moment allows me to be back in this moment. And the more present I am in this moment, the more I'm going to not only heal myself, but the community around me. So long story short, the answer to that question of if the world, with the world being as chaotic as it is and things and transitions and changes in the world, what's the trick to creating peace of heart? This is my personal process. This is my personal journey. And I've been so blessed and honored to be able to help a lot of people on the journey learn this process. It is an incredible gift to give to oneself. You deserve to feel at peace in this moment. Big deep breaths, honor how you feel in this moment. Focus on the things that feel good in the moment because we already know by default, there's a lot of focus on things that are scary, overwhelming, and negative. Put your actual conscious energy into fueling more of a positive connection to gratitude in this moment, and you will see a very big positive shift in your day-to-day -day experience.